channel so today for you guys I have another Christmas Dollar Tree DIY video and this time the theme is shabby chic I told you guys if we could give my last Christmas video to 5,000 thumbs up I was about to say 10,000 girl anyways 5,000 thumbs up I would do another Christmas Dollar Tree DIY video so I wanted to do another different theme Ooh, these things are popping out I've been filming like a crazy person and all of my crafting stuff is like inside of these bins so shabby chic to me is like girly colors pink and mint and then also like with a vintage vibe to it this DIY video was mainly inspired actually off of this little mint deer that I got at a place called at home I just really really wanted to do something that would complement the deer so yeah I have it all mixed like behind me I have like my glam decor DIYs that I did from Dollar Tree which was the last theme I had and now I've got like this all over the place and then upstairs is where I got the buffalo check and the farmhouse DIYs okay so again if we can get this video to 5,000 thumbs up by this week I will have another Dollar Tree DIY video out for you guys with another theme because I don't want to do Chef Chic two times in a row. Anyways, again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not and click that bell button so you're notified every single time that I upload. With that being said, let's begin the video. Let's start with the Christmas tree. From Dollar Tree, you want to pick up one of their white Christmas trees. Go ahead, set it all up, and it's up to you what color you want this to be. You can leave it as white, but I am using a spray paint to make it pink. It is the Rust-Oleum Blush Pink Spray Paint. I didn't record myself doing this because I had to go outside and it's snowing and I did not want to get my camera wet. Now I'm going to be adding some pearls to this. I have the string of pearls that I got on sale at Joan Fabrics for roughly around a dollar. Now Dollar Tree does carry little things that you can use for pearls. You can get their string of bead necklaces and spray paint them white. Or you can get a bunch of their smaller bracelets that they have up front that are pearl bracelets. But you get more bang for your buck if you decide to go to a craft store. So I'm just using the beads that I got at the craft store. I'm using a hot glue gun to glue the pearls to the Christmas tree. Now I take some lace ribbon from Dollar Tree and I use that in place of garland and it really looks cute in my opinion. This makes it look more like a vintage type of tree. To my Christmas tree I'm now gluing these resin flowers. My friend had bought them off of Amazon a while ago. I'll try to find them if I can't. I do know Hobby Lobby carries items that are similar and you're going to find it near like the stationary sticker section. Even the beads sometimes they have them there. And you can also find these at Joan Fabrics. I don't think they have this exact one. I think you'll find something more similar at Hobby Lobby. But you'll find ones that can go on a shabby chic type of Christmas tree at Joan Fabrics and Michaels as well. Now you could use actual fake flowers from Dollar Tree and spray paint them. That's another option. It's not going to have the same type of vibe. But there are things you can do using Dollar Tree products to get the tree that you want. To create a string of pearls, what I'm actually doing is taking some pearl stickers from Dollar Tree and they're in strips. And I'm basically taking two strips, putting them back to back so they essentially make a whole looking pearl. And then I glue those little strings to the Christmas tree. Again, Dollar Tree does carry beaded necklaces and you can spray paint them white but honestly after spray painting them you might as well go to Walmart they got already white ones for I think a dollar ninety four cents or even Target you can find it already white for three dollars so I'm just doing this with the Dollar Tree um, stickers that I could find but there's other options again out there now that's it for the Christmas tree I decided to add a tree skirt and what I'm using is a doily from Dollar Tree. I go ahead and just create a hole in the center of that doily and then I put the Christmas tree through it and I think this makes it look really vintage, shabby, chic, and it goes so well with my little mint deer. It's awesome. Anyways, moving on to the candelabra. So the base of this candelabra is actually something I'm recycling from another DIY. I'm going to show you quickly kind of how I did it. It was for an anthropology DIY. I took two candlesticks from Dollar Tree and I glued them together so both tops of those candle I was about to say candle trees candlesticks are touching I then took an octagon mirror from Dollar Tree and I glued that to the top of my now one gigantic candlestick I then added another candlestick on top of the center of that mirror and then I spray painted it wide and I painted it gold but the last part is totally irrelevant to the rest of this 
Now what I'm doing for the actual candelabra I'm showing you now is I'm taking a silver platter from Dollar Tree, it's an oval shape, and I'm gluing that to the top of this candlestick. I keep saying candlestick, I mean candle holder. Now I'm taking these LED candles from Dollar Tree and I'm removing the candle from the bottom part and this is going to be painted as well as this little candle holder that I got at Dollar Tree. I spray painted this entire thing a ivory color from Rust-Oleum. Once I have it all spray painted, I go ahead and I glue on the little candle holders. And I'm just using a hot glue gun to do this because I want to recycle this yet again for my wedding. I'm making a bunch of candelabras using Dollar Tree products because candelabras are expensive. The most inexpensive ones I could find are at Michael's and they're small. They're originally 20 bucks, but they're not like a good size. So I'm just going to be making them from Dollar Tree products. I go ahead and then glue that round candle holder to the center of my candelabra. Now the reason I have this one is because I want the candle in the middle to be higher than the rest. To decorate the candelabra, I'm gluing some of that lace that I keep using just around that octagon mirror. I then take a snowflake ornament from Dollar Tree that I spray painted pink and glue that to the center of the candelabra. I go ahead and add a pearl to the center of that snowflake and then I glue some of those pearl stickers around the snowflake and I glue them on because those stickers really aren't the strongest. It's better gluing them on than just relying on the adhesive that's on the back of the sticker because it's just going to fall off. Now I add some lace to the bottom of the candle holder. Then to the top on that silver platter, I go ahead and I cut some of those snowflake ornaments down so they fit around the smaller candle holders. Um, I didn't glue them on just because again I'm going to be using this and if I glued those on I feel like it would have ripped off the paint and when I have to spray paint it again it'll make it look like really messed up so I just placed them down onto the plate. Now the bottom of the candelabra I didn't glue on but what I did is I took three pink snowflakes and I glued them together so it kind of makes like a triangle snowflake and then I just placed my candelabra in the center of that and then I just glue some pearls. I decided not to glue that for the same reason. I'm gonna end up reusing this and I didn't wanna get glue on the bottom of there. So I just kinda place it on top of the snowflakes. I think this candelabra is so cute. It is so cute. And I'm kinda thinking maybe I'll be able to use it in my wedding somehow, but I am definitely gonna have to take off the snowflakes and then spray paint it a different color. But yes, adorable. Now moving on to the Christmas wreath. From Dollar Tree, you wanna pick up two of their white wreaths. They carry them in two different sizes. There's a bigger one and a smaller one. Get one of each so you can make the wreath look fuller. Now what I'm doing is I'm gluing the smaller one to the bigger one. And now you can't just rely on the glue. You're gonna need something else to kind of tie it together. So to tie it together, I'm gonna to be using some more of that lace ribbon. Now I got this little pearl pick from Michaels. I got it on Black Friday. I think I paid like, honestly, somewhere around 50 cents for this pick. It was originally $2. Well, I decided to add that to my wreath. I know I have a few items in this tutorial that aren't from Dollar Tree, but I've said it before, Dollar Tree doesn't always have the best prices on items. Lots of times you can find other items on sale at other craft stores for a less expensive price than it is to just make it yourself using Dollar Tree products. There are Dollar Tree products you can use to mimic something like this, but at the end of the day, you can save more money if you go to Michaels or if you go to Joann Fabrics. I mean, sometimes it's like that with some of my crafts. Sometimes you can go somewhere else and just buy it already made. It's up to you though. Do you want to craft it yourself? And also you can always add and remove things to suit your budget. Now it's time to add the running theme in most of these DIYs, the string of pearls. I go ahead, cut it up, and then I start gluing pearls all around the wreath. There was something off about this wreath to me. I needed a little bit of color to blend it in with everything else. So I spray painted another Christmas tree pink and then I cut branches off and I glue that to the wreath. The next item I'm using from Dollar Tree are some more of those pearl stickers, but this time they're in this mint color and I'm just gluing them down so it kind of looks like garland that's being wrapped around the wreath. So I wanted to add some ornaments that had blue and pink colors to them. You can buy ornaments from Dollar Tree, spray paint them, but again, 
this is much cheaper to do i went to target i picked up these mini ornaments in the colors that i wanted it was three dollars if i would have went to dollar tree got a pack of the one dollar ornaments and then spray painted them or even painted them with acrylic paint it would have came out to the same amount i paid with them already just made for me so yeah, I decided to glue that to the wreath and I just placed the ornaments down in the pattern that I think I wanted them to be and then I glued them down. I decided to place them down and then glue it on afterward so that that way I didn't glue an ornament to the wreath and decide, hey, no, I don't want it there and then I have to rip it off and I destroy the wreath. I thought a pink flower would look really pretty with this, so I'm using this pink flower that I got at Dollar Tree. You might not be able to find this right now, but you can go out to other places and find a pink flower, that's for sure. I go ahead and glue a pearl to the middle of that flower, and now I had this really cute white reindeer to the center of the wreath, but kind of in the back of the wreath. So it's just like kind of laying there right in the center of it. I used a hot glue gun to do this. I held it in place till it glued the way that I wanted it to be. And this is just so cute. I went ahead and I hung this wreath on top of this framed mirror wall decor piece I made in another Dollar Tree DIY video. And I'll link that down below for you guys if you want to make it. But I think it went well with the entire theme of this video. Finally, this easy picture frame. <laughs> From Dollar Tree you want to pick up one of their ornate mirrors now you can get honestly any picture frame if you want to this just has that kind of like Victorian shabby chic look and then I'm gonna be using this cardstock paper that I got at Michaels for 79 cents as well as a writing utensil this one is from um, Dollar Tree it's kind of like a calligraphy pen I think now what I do is I take the contents out of the frame and then I go ahead and use the pieces I took out to measure the amount of paper I have to cut off now looking back I wish I never wrote anything on top of this but what ended up happening is I tried writing on one sheet and I messed up so then I had to cut one out and make another sheet then I just ran out of enough papers to fit in this frame so I just had to go with what I was going with so what I did is I took um, just a marker and I wrote out some of the words from Twas the Night Before Christmas. You don't have to do this, honestly, in my opinion. I think it looked kind of better without it, but I just did what I did because it was just too late. Positive, if you get a piece of paper that doesn't have as much going on, if you write something on top of it, it's not going to be too distracting. But because there's already these musical notes and it's a lot on the paper to begin with, once I added the words, it was just a lot going on. But like I said, I just went with it because I was already too far in. Now, once I was done with that, I put the contents back into the frame and I decided I didn't like the white plastic look to the frame. I decided I wanted to age it up a bit. So I took a makeup sponge, ripped it in half, and then I put some gold acrylic paint on top of the sponge and started to stipple that color around the picture frame. Now by stippling, I mean you're kind of just pouncing the sponge onto the frame and this gives it a more aged look. It's not like when you take a paintbrush and you're putting a bunch of streaks all over the place. It makes it look more natural as opposed to a bunch of paint streaks. I prefer to do it this way. Also like look, it just looks so much better with the gold in my opinion. It doesn't just look like cheap white plastic. And that's all I did for this DIY. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know that this is very much so a niche of people who like to decor, do decor like this. So even if this is not your style, hopefully it inspires you to try something different. Because honestly, I mean, it's not necessarily something I decorate my house with everywhere. But oh my gosh, I would love to one day have like a theme Christmas room with something just like this. It would be so cute. Anyways, I will see you guys. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I'm talking too fast that I can't even keep up. Okay, take care. Bye.